Hi everyone, Phil from statisticsmentor.com. Here's another proof that the mean squared error of an estimator equals the variance of an estimator plus the bias of the estimator squared. I'm going to do this directly by the idea here is to expand the brackets using the definition of MSC, expand the brackets, take expectation through and then uh, tidy it up knowing what the definition of variance of theta hat is and knowing the definition of bias. Okay, so if we expand the brackets, we're going to get, okay, I think you agree that I get this. Now, next I'm going to apply the rules of the expectation operator, usual thing. I note that within the brackets, we have to distinguish what are coefficients, what are parameters, sorry, <laughs> we have to distinguish what are the constants and what are the random variables. Okay, estimators, they are always random variables because they depend on the data. The data changes from one sample to the next. That's loosely what it is. The parameters, they are constants. Okay, so take an expectation through the brackets, I get expectation of theta hat squared plus the expected value of theta squared minus uh, expectation. I'm going to do this step by step. I'm writing down even the boring steps here. A theta, theta hat. Okay. Right. Next. So this remains the same. Oops. Squared there. Expected value of theta squared. Well, we just said that theta is a constant, so any function of it, including the squared of it, is a constant as well. So theta squared is also a constant because theta is a constant. Expected value of a constant is the constant there. 2 theta, 2 is a constant, theta is a constant, theta hat is a random variable. So recall the uh, formula, well, the rule we had expected value of a constant times a random variable is constant comes out, this time is 2 of them, 2 theta, multiply by the expected value of the random variable. Here you go. That is pretty straightforward. Now the clever bit is that we have to extract from this, or somehow engineer from this, the variance and the bias. So let's write on the side here, let's recap Oh, if I can squeeze this in, I can't squeeze it in, so let's squeeze it in under here. Right, the definition of the variance. Variance of theta hat we know is equal to expected value of theta hat squared minus the expected value of theta hat and all that squared. Also we know by definition again that, that the bias of an estimator is equal by definition to the expected value of the estimator minus the parameter. Okay, So we need to somehow put this into here and put this into here. Right, so if you look at the terms here, I've got expected value theta hat squared. Yes, it's in there already. That, that's a good one. So we've got that. That's what we need. Uh, do we have this term in there somewhere? No, we don't. Um, do we have expected value of theta in there? Mm, let's see. Yes, we do. It's there. Right here, look. Do we have um, a theta in here? Well, we've got a theta squared there, we've got a theta there. All right. Let's see if we can pull out or get the variance first in here. Well, we'll see what is missing is the expected value of theta hat all squared. So here, we're going to use. This is uh, its not a trick, but it's a method, and it's quite 
it's uh, you find this is a very useful method in econometrics, well, I say econ statistics and econometrics for economists going on to do statistics modeling. Uh, it's called the add and subtraction rule. Basically, I want to get in there the expected value of theta hat or square because it isn't in there, right? So let's rewrite this, but add and subtract this, which basically doesn't change a thing. Right, so what you see, I've written out this line, but I have added and subtracted expected value of theta hat and all squared. This is just different notation for this. I just don't want to be writing brackets all over the place. Makes it neater. All right, so this, this is the same meaning as this. You can see, therefore, that this new expression is the same as that because all I've done is added and subtracted the same value to that line. And the reason why I did that is so that I can obtain the variance of theta hat. Because look, isn't this the definition of the variance of theta hat? Yes, it is. Cause if, and, if you, and if you're stretching your head, think about, instead of theta hat, think about it in terms of x. Replace where you see theta hat by x, and you see that's the usual formula for the variance of the random variable. So it must mean that to get my answer, that these three terms must come together to be bias squared of theta hat. Now, I ain't going to do this, I think, because it's quite obvious what you do here. What you will do in the next line of the proof is to take this bias, this expression, and just square it. And if you square this, you should get these three terms. And once you've done that, you you're done with the proof. And that's it. So just to recap, what was the idea of this proof? The idea was to start off with definition of MSC, expand the brackets, take the expectation sign through, and just extract from it the variance and of theta hat and the bias. So you need to know there the definition of the variance and the bias. OK, well, I've actually done two proofs. This is another proof. Um, you can compare each proof and uh, think about which one you prefer. See you later.